Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today I have got a rumor that popped up over the weekend concerning NVIDIA and their upcoming GPU architecture, which for a very long time has been thought to be Volta. However, if these rumors that came up over the past weekend are to be true, then it would actually be called Ampere and be announced at GTC 2018. So I kind of wanted to go over the source of this rumor from the origin as well as dissect it and kind of give my thoughts on where it could go here from the future and if this is actually true and if it is, what would it what would it mean for the upcoming GPU roadmap for Nvidia? So let's start with the origin of this rumor. Now, it's been all over the all over the all the tech websites, the you know, the 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 regular sites out there like WCCF Tech, Hexus, Guru 3D, Game Debate, it's been on every website out there. However, the origin of this is a German tech website called Heise.d. They recently did an article where they were just talking about the NVIDIA, share, NVIDIA earnings over the course of the third quarter for 2017. And right at the very end of their article, which this has been translated from German to English, so that's why it kind of sounds a little bit broken. But quoting the end of their article, the last line here, they say, information on upcoming GPU generation, which should appear under the name Ampere, there should be the GPU Technology Conference 2018. So basically what they're saying is, the next GPU architecture from NVIDIA is called Ampere, not Volta, and it's going to be revealed at GTC 2018, which is in March of next year. So this is the first time we've ever heard this name being thrown out there, Ampere. Up until now, it's always been called Volta. This has been you know, the case ever since like four years ago with their GPU roadmap, which at the time, actually didn't even show Pascal. So this isn't the first time that they've changed, this wouldn't be the first time that they've changed up their GPU roadmap if this happens to be true. That original roadmap had showed Maxwell and going straight into Volta, which would have stacked DRAM. So that would mean HBM2 very likely, but we've seen how low the yields have been and the high cost of actually implementing that onto a graphics card, all the issues that AMD has had this year with supply and being able to get out RX Vega cards. So it would make a lot of sense if NVIDIA did decide to pivot to not using HBM2 on these cards. And if that were true, is that why they are changing it to Ampere? If they are in fact changing the name to Ampere or are they deciding to push back Volta even further? Is this possibly a Pascal refresh? That is a another certain possibility. They could be doing a Pascal refresh. They could be changing the name because they're not using stack DRAM or HPM2 like they had initially planned to use on Volta. So let me know your thoughts about this. What do you think about it? Tell me down in the comments below. Now, as far as the memory question is concerned, it would seem very likely that they would be using GDDR6 on the Volta-based graphics card. And maybe that's the reason why they're switching up the name. Not really too sure just yet, but there was an article earlier this year, which I had covered on an episode of TGW that talked about DDR6 memory being revealed by SK Hynix and how that it would be used for NVIDIA Volta graphics cards. This was kind of like a rumor at the time, but now this is seeming more and more likely and DDR6 is definitely on track to be available for graphics card manufacturers in 2018. Just this, a few days ago, actually, Samsung had been honored for 36 different things oh, at CES, for CES 2018 coming up. They kind of get the heads up on their you know, awards they'll be receiving ahead of time. And Samsung is being honored for many different products, but one of them is 16 gigabit per second bandwidth GDDR6 memory, which would put it at about double of DDR5. You've also got DDR5X in there, which is around 11 to 12 gigabit per second, but this would be 16 gigabit per second. So that's double the speed of GDDR5 memory, and it's still operating at 1.35 volts, just like DDR5X they're pretty much putting here in this uh, little press snippet that they have over on the Samsung Newsroom website. So it certainly looks like DDR6 is on track to be available for next year. So that is kind of all tying together with this as it seems likely that Volta cards would use DDR6 if it is still Volta, or are they just, you know, rebranding it as Ampere for, you know, whatever reason. Or there's also the third possibility is that this is just complete BS and it's just a German website that made a mistake or wanted to get attention. Or there could just be a translation breakdown. They are a German website. Ampere and Volta are sort of similar as they're both in the electrical family. Volt, Volta, Volta and Volts, you know, Ampere's are all kind of electrical based terminology. So maybe there was just a language breakdown there. Maybe they made a mistake that they have not yet corrected over on heisa.d. So yeah, I wanted to just kind of give you guys this information and turn it to you down in the comments below as to whether or not you think 
you know, this is true and what it means for the future. Will this be a Pascal refresh? Will this just be Volta with a different name? Or is it just not true at all? And yeah, that would really not be very interesting if that ended up being the case. But either way, I think everyone out there is probably looking forward to whatever NVIDIA has to come out with next year. If, if they were to do a Pascal refresh, I mean, I, I couldn't really fault them entirely for that because they don't really have much competition right now in that space with AMD. And we don't really know yet when Navi is going to be coming from AMD and if it'll even be able to compete very well with whatever NVIDIA has coming out next because Vega kind of fell a little bit short this year and it was also just a year late, honestly. If, if Vega had came out the same time as Pascal, I think we'd be singing a different tune because at least there would have been some options out there. But they just happened to be so late to that party that they just really didn't have much much to stand on there as far as competition with NVIDIA. So always want to hear your guys' feedback, though, down in the comments below. Let's discuss. I look forward to interacting with you as always. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Leave a like on it and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll catch you guys next time. Sure.